Hello everyone, I'm Ringtail Randall, and what you are about to watch is a grown-ass man being incredibly OCD about games he barely even touches anymore. I was just looking through my NES collection here, and it is unorganized, dusty, and altogether bleh. Plus I need to add some more games up here that were sitting atop my TV. So I'm going to do that now. Probably see my face briefly. Alright. First we have 3D Duck Game Heroes for the PS3. Yeah, I do need to get all this PS3 stuff up here. It doesn't need to just sit up there. Get this wet rag away. That's for wiping off all the dusties. Borderlands 2! Alright. That's Dark Souls. And then the collector's tin of Dark Souls, which was holding up the sky of four. Whew, I'm glad that drink was empty. Mostly empty. There we go. We darn near had an accident there. Alright, let's keep moving now, shall we? Dead Island. Probably buy that on Steam soon, play it on the PC. Actually, let's play that. I don't know. I would need co commentators. And then the sky of four, with its respective. I've got Fallout New Vegas, but I never play it. I don't like the best of games. And then I've got both little big planets. There we go. Let me get a divider here right now. Just for now. Maybe I should put that in the box of the GameCube games. Nah. I've got Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix, and the pad is in the box in the closet. Final Fantasy XII Collector's Edition. Ooh, the game no one likes. I love, I love that game. Love, love, love. That's my LED monitor disc. I kind of need to keep up with that. I got a game that was ported to the Wii, but the DS game. Fucking massive waste of money was that was. Thanks, GameStop. I've got Final Fantasy XIV Version One. The appeal, the it was nice until the appeal wore off, and then. Yeah. Is that a PS2 online disc? It sure is. This is a PS2 online startup disc. I've never used this. I gave the PS2 to my friend Richie for nothing because I owed him a lot of money. Maybe one day he'll be willing to let me buy it back because I kind of miss it. Well, my PS3 is backward compatible, so... It's just I want that shakiness to go away. Now, the top of my TV no longer has things up top, on top of it. None of that's in order, but who cares? Let me see. I'm gonna need back now. I may actually need to use the... That is the zoom as far as zoomed out as it can get. Oh no. Alright. There we go. Finally got things adjusted just right. Let me see here. I don't even think this is all my SNES games. They're probably still in the tote somewhere. There's a great introduction to Kirby games right there. Kirby Superstar with McKinney on the box. Must have from Squaresoft. Secret of Mana. Man, isn't this rare now? I don't give a shit. I'm not partying with it. And that staple of the household, Super Mario World. I have a ton more Super Nintendo games, but I have no clue where they are at the moment. So that means Kirby Superstar will go first. That's, a given. That's K. Let me turn this around. I'm really OCD about this shit. Man, these dust covers all need to individually clean off. Whew, filthy. Alright. There we go. I'll need another divider. I need to buy another one of these and get my manga all sorted out because I've got a ton of manga just sitting on my computer desk where all my computer game stuff could go, but sadly that is not the case. Alright viewer, I think we've just about gotten to all of these in order, so I'll show you as I go what they- whoa, don't crush it now, don't crush it, it's a classic. It is baseball for the NES. See, I can see nothing. There we go, I've got baseball for the NES here. Maybe I should sit them on their sides. Maybe I should get rid of the dust covers. Yeah, that might be a good idea. I've got Batman, the video game. The good one. Don't you fucking fall. Make sure you don't fall down while I'm sorting here. Oh, get ready! I've got Battletoads! <laughs> Terror strikes me as I touch this cartridge. 
Oh man, here's one you might have played as a kid. Blades of Steel for the NES. Very nice. Alright. I think it's all my bees there. I forgot I even had this game, man. Uh, it's sad, I think I lost a lot of my NES games. <laughs> the incredible crash dummies for the NES. Made by the devil themselves. LJN. Is it LJN? Yep, it's LJN. Uh, it's such an odd game. Oh man, I just remembered all just really odd games I had. Oh, I still have all the accessories to it too. I've got dance aerobics for the NES. Power pad required. <laughs> oh my god. You know what's really funny too? Uh, I believe in that game you can tap select and just skip through the whole game, so as kids we'd always win and we did nothing. It's like nothing ever changed. Oh boy, here comes a good one. Oh, lots of good times with this when I was a kid. Oh, I've got Donkey Kong Classics. Includes Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. Oh man, that's a good one. Man, just taking them out of the dust cover saves a lot of space. Oh, get ready for it. I've got Dr. Mario. Man, that is an essential right there. Absolutely essential. And speaking of essentials, for many games on the NES, there was one thing you required simply because they were so freaking hard. A cheating device, maybe? Does that give you a hint at all? Well, you kids might call it action replay nowadays, but back in the day, we called it Game Genie. And if you don't know how this works, it's pretty simple. You get your cartridge like this, you insert it into the Game Genie like so, and you press and then you put it in your NES. You have to keep the lid open, unless you're like me, and you have a top loader, then you don't have to. Alright, just gonna slide the Game Genie right in there. It's gonna kind of awkward fit. There we go. The original Ghost and Goblins Rage Edition, man. I still never ever got past the fourth level in the first cycle. Legit. Man, that game's so fucking hard. Golf? Hey, don't knock it for simplicity. It's actually pretty good. Your spine's kind of filthy. There you go. Here's one you may or may not have heard from me. If you've been following me, you probably have heard a little bit about it. There is Gunsmoke for the NES, which is based off of a... Loosely based off of a... It's actually an arcade port of a show. No, 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 no. It's a, uh... Who is it licensed by? Capcom. It was an original game that was mistaken for a western... But a lot of stuff falls in line with it, so really, to this day, we still don't really know what it was all about there. Coming up is definitely one of my favorites here, man. One of the first games I ever touched, and I have LP'd this game. It's Kirby's Adventure. And notice how my last name does not desecrate the side of the box. I mean, cartridge. Perfectly clean cartridge works just fine. You just don't desecrate something that has that much value with your last name. Sadly, I didn't have a choice in a lot of them. And speaking of something you don't desecrate by writing your last name on it, I've got one of the first, and seriously, one still one of the greatest point-and-click adventure games ever. I've got Maniac Mansion from the NES. Woo! Should fit right in there, making a clean fit. Making a clean fit. Thank you. Alright, now we must adjust the next shelf here. That's incredible, this camera can go just about anywhere. Hello viewers, we're at the next shelf. I only have three more shelves, so I really hope the rest of this fits. Is this an unlicensed game? It sure is. I've got the unlicensed version of Pac-Man right here. Man, I forgot I even had that. Oh, here's another one of the simple titles that just worked out. Pinball for the NES. Oh, man. It's just all coming back to me now. Let me get a divider. Get some of that divider shit mixed up in there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, here's one you saw from me here. Here it is. Pinbot, man. Oh, Pinbot right in the flesh. Whew. Wonderful little thing. Still hard as hell. Damn, I love it. It's one of the first Rare games, you know that? Oh, brother. Check it out. I got me some motherfucking Cubert. Oh, yeah. Man, it's been ages since I played Cubert. 
did that series just get completely discontinued or rebooted or anything? Man, that's like the OCD game right there. And then I've also got Pro Wrestling, previously owned by Scott H. Now owned by Mr. McCann. Oh, shit, wrong way. Just massive OCD here. Oh, man. I never got to see this one through. I should totally give this one a chance, man. I've got Road Blasters for the NES. I think I also had Road Blasters for the Genesis. Was there a Road Blaster for the Genesis or Super Nintendo? I believe there was. We'll have to find out one of these days. I got Rygar right here. Oh, shit, sorry. Rygar in the flesh. I almost want to get my top loader out and start just playing these as meant to be. Also, one thing I gotta say is I have a metric shit ton of power pad games, so you're gonna see a lot of those. And when it comes to the multi-pack games, a la Short Order and Explode, I always sort it by the first game's name. So I'm sorting this by Short Order. Which is actually a really fun memory game. And then the second one's like a reflex game where you have to tap one of the 12 keys to stop the bomb from exploding under the chicken. Oh, man. I'm going to catch your car one of these days. I am seriously going to have to, like, face cam some power pad games. Fuck your Wii U. I got a power pad. I've got Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. And I additionally have the three game pack with Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt and World Track Class Me. Sorry, World Class Track Me. There we go. And going in tradition with that, I have Super Mario Bros. 2 with a torn label. That's how you know it's mine. Wow, there's no name on that one either? Nope, sure ain't. One of the most perfect games of all time, Super Mario Bros. 3. I had to write my name on this one. I have to claim that I have a copy of that perfect game, and I will never let it go under any cost or circumstance. Like I just said, I have a metric shit ton of power pad games. Here's another one. This is Super Team Games. It's another power pad game. You can tell by that right there. I still have plenty of power pads, but we had to put them up because pat cats love to piss on those things. They really do. Especially if you have boy cats. Did you know I was a Tetris addict at an early age? Yep. I've got Tetris for the NES. Yep. I had it for the Game Boy at 1.2, but I don't remember what happened to that. I was still filthy. There you go. Ew, it's sticky. Why is this one sticky? Here's one you don't see very often at all, I don't think. I've got Track and Field 2, but keep in mind, this one is published by Konami. Let me find the... Well, I don't have the actual card. Well, yes, I do. Spoiler, spoiler. Right here, I have the original World Class Track Meet. And it says right there to trademark a Nintendo. So this Track and Field 2... Oh, sorry about that. Let me get a little better there. This Track and Field 2 was made by Konami. This is not the direct sequel. Keep that in mind. I got some Nintendo Zapper games. This is Barker Bill's Trick Shooting. It's actually a lot of fun, man. Oh, I would so love to get that stuff hooked up while I still have a monolith TV. This is the only TVs that stuff works with. I possess Win, Lose, or Draw, which was previously owned by A. Mitchell. Thanks, Mitchell. It's based off of a game show in the 80s or 90s? Was it the 80s or 90s? Let me see here. 19... 1985. That might be the patent on the actual cartridge itself. Let me double check. No, no. I checked. That's the actual year. Whew. Yeah, that's an 80s family feud style show where you have to draw pictures and guess what it is. It's basically draw my thing back in the day and oh my god, that was impossible to draw pictures on that. Like I showed you, World Class Track Meet! If I had the original named version, I would have a rare-ass card on my hands, but I don't, so that's that.
Now, I'm pretty perplexed as to organize, how to organize the next two games, but I worked with what I had. I've got Yoshi. Let's get your ass in there. And then I've got Yoshi's Cookie. The one, the only, original Legend of Zelda. Shit. And it's Black Sheep sequel, Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. Hmm. I tell you what, I could probably actually do something to save some shelf space here. There we go, it's all the NES games there. Hmm. This needs to stay accessible too, because this is like all my games here. Real fast, guys, I'm going to move this clump of stuff right down here, and then move Final Fantasy XIV up. I'll keep it a surprise, so you'll just, you just you just got to see what I'm doing here. Just got to see what I'm doing here. Let's get that funky-ass divider moving. I've only got three NES games here. You know what? Alright, there we go. Sorry guys, I had to do a slight readjustment. Let me just pick up the camera here and show you how things have been adjusted here. Top shelf, move that chunk over. Now very slowly here, try not to get too much shake. I took the NES game, SNES games that I have currently out of the... Oh, for the sake of the gods, man. OCD like no tomorrow. I'm not left-handed. There we go. Now that that's fixed. Let's move down here. Very clean. And then back down on the shelf I'm currently working on. Right. I've got a few things here. This is the original release of Final Fantasy XI, which I'm what's playing right now. So it has definitely earned a respectable place down here. I'm not gonna need you, fuck you, divider. This is the second expansion pack, actually, because the first expansion pack of Final Fantasy XI is Rise of the Xylart, which came out about the same time as U.S. release. Like, there's Rise of the Xylart, right there. So you, sir, go in there. The third expansion pack, Final Fantasy XI Treasures of Hot Ergen. Has a handy fold open packet so you can see all the visuals and read about all the stuff that go goes on. Very nice little thing they included. It's really when they were polishing their games. And then here is the Von Adil Collection 2008. And the reason I had to get this was for this expansion right here Wings of the Goddess. I figured if I'm going to drop $15 and come back to the game at the time, I might as well just grab it all and have it all in one install. It's really nice too. Let me let me just crack this baby open and show you. Instead of having a I can't see shit. Instead of having a metric fuck ton of discs, you only have I think it's one or two installation disc. Yeah, you have two installation disc right there. Much much easier. So that means the rest of the stuff right here. It just sits pretty, and that's just what it's going to do. Alright, I've, I've got two random ass boxes for Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine and whatnot, so I'm just going to place them here, fill in space. Yeah, I actually made a boo boo. I need to put something else in here. Right here is Final Fantasy XI The Ultimate Collection, and what this is is even better than the 2008 collection. 
It's got a foldable flap right here for the game disc. Installs incredibly fast. That's what I had to do to reinstall, and then every it took ages to patch, but that's just to be expected. You know? Alright, let's see what else I can get here. Clear some more room down here. I for sure can get more in here, but I don't really see anything else that's going to fit. Well, I've got a few miscellaneous things I could put in there. Someone gave me the first DVD, The Lucky Star. Fortunately, I've already watched it all subs. Got my PlayStation 3 startup disc. Just throw that shit in there, make it fit. Now I've got one of my favorite musicals of all time, The Producers 2005. Oh man, I gotta rewatch that soon. And right here I've got the Fulu Cooley Ultimate Edition, which is a box set, obviously. It's got all the episodes in the box set, and it's got extra, all the episodes in the box set here, and extra content. But I choose to just leave it in there as is. One of these days I'll bust it out and show you what's inside, but right now we're just being OCD about getting the home for this stuff. So... Sorry about that, viewer. I am a total tool and I did not adjust the camera rightfully. The next box set I have right here is Azamanga Dayo, the damn, uh, pfft, not the damn nation, the animation. Both sides, all girls shown, all five discs here. Oops, it's manga. Other way around. See everything nicely laid out. Man, it's so hard to lean over. Again, I'll pop these open to show what's in there one day, but right now, I'm just making space. Hey, you need to get further in there. Nope, you're good. Well, that's going to about do it, so let me get my placeholders all placed down here. It's too bad I have a second one of these. My manga really could use a home. Now let me go ahead and move you back up here, viewer. And viewer, here it is. Here's the big mamma jamma that's going to go there. I've got Final Fantasy XIV. The limited collection right here. This is humongous. Look at this. It's that thick. I think it should fit in there nicely. Oh, that's a perfect fit. Do I have a divider in there? I do. I should have something I can place there. There we go. Surely there's got to be something I can put in there. Where's my Worms Armageddon disc? Oh, just miscellaneous. This is Worms Armageddon. Uh, I might be able to play this in XP. I will remember this because this is one of the greatest PC games to ever grace Windows 98 and forward. How are you going to do? Okay, you're just private enough. Very good. Let me get some more CD things just to take space. Uh, oh, these actually have music CDs in them. Oh, it's going to be like my middle school years when I had really bad taste in music. Alright, one more for good measure. And there you have it, viewer. Let me just give you one more grace through my collection of games so far before I sell some of them off. Hint, hint, you! Fuck you. Alright, keep on going down here nice and slow. I should really should get another one of these, because, let me just jump cut you over there, I'm going to have to maneuver. I really could use a second one of those, because I've got a lot of manga that needs a home. <laughs> and it can't be sitting by the floor, it'll get filthy. Thanks for joining me, I'm Ringtail Randall, and my shit is finally organized. It took a while, but sometimes it's pretty fun being OCD, just, just take my word for it. Keep the tails wagging. See you later. Bye. Congratulations for discovering my secret vlog channel. Bye.